Ahoy everybody! Ahoy everybody! So I am just getting it all together. I forgot to grab a drink. And yeah, I am slowly improving it all. Slowly. There we go, sorted. So, hi everybody. So yeah, last time I uh, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Went all the way down to Demon Ruins and I can't go that way yet. So, I legged it back up to the top and now we've got Sense Fortress, which is a place that people love. So that's out that way. But I need to go and speak to somebody first because there's somebody I forgot. Dark Souls. So I do need, need to nip back to Filing Shrine because I have to talk to somebody there. So we will head to the elevator back down. I remember when those things used to be a problem. I'm going to be wearing this helmet for the rest of the game. Decided. It's our new helmet. So, you're still here. Your Highness, where have you gone? I am entirely to blame for this. Yep, oh, you are. Woe is me. I am unworthy, deathly so. So we had that guy. The other person we needed to speak to was in here. This guy. Hello. Was it you who rang the bell of awakening? I am the primordial serpent, King Seeker Frant, close friend of the great Lord Gwyn, chosen undead, who has rung the bell of awakening. He's so I pretty. Wish to elucidate your fate. Do you seek such enlightenment? I'm gonna say yes. Very well. Then I am pleased to share, chosen undead, your fate. That is King is Freaker, King Seeker Frank. He's just Lord told you. Win, so that you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. To this end, you must visit Anor Londo and acquire the Lord Vessel. Look, he's even got dangly bits. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? So, this guy I can feed stuff to. So, this guy is great. You can feed him regular items. And he eats them and gives you souls for it. Or, you can feed him shards. And it gives you upgrade materials. I can feed him all the green ones that I'm never going to use. And get some regular Titanite shards. Farewell, chosen undead. 
I remain here and await thee. So he's just told us we've got to go to Anor Londo where all the gods live. Because it is our destiny to go and succeed one of the other gods. Who's Gwyn the king. And you see him in the opening cutscene. He's the, the big bearded guy throwing lightning spears at everything. Did you ring the second bell? That is incredible, I must say. But now we have a new problem. It's noisy. It snores. And its <laughs> breath is really lethal. This is no laughing matter, I tell you. It is a bit. Damn. That stench. And I was really beginning to like it here. Oh, maybe it's time I do something about it. So yeah, he doesn't oh, like the sell smell of rant. Maybe it's time I... So yeah, that's who we came here to talk to. Came to talk to Frant. And see what he's doing. He tells us what we've got to do and that we're supposed to succeed the king. And then speak to the crestfallen guy, because it's always useful talking to him. Now we can go and do horrible puzzles. Yeah, the serpents aren't that pretty. Although, there are uglier things around. We might see some of them soon as well. Bow down for the Ballsack King. Ballsack King. So we will up the longsword a bit just because that is our backup weapon. So we've got Swihander plus five and longsword plus five now. I wonder if Andre can upgrade anything else for us. I know we can upgrade armor, but I always do that very last. Nope. Something just died. That's where we got those souls from. Uh, Titanic shards. Smith box. Arrows and stuff. Did I already buy the key thing? I think I did. Oh no, I need 20,000 souls for that thing. We shall get it later then. But yeah, that weird effect you saw a second ago was something dying and giving me health. See you in a bit, Alex. Enjoy your Thai food. Yeah, if there's anybody who isn't following him yet, go and give Alex a follow. He's playing Horizon at the moment. So he's played his way through. What was that sound? Hissing. Snake men. Yeah, Alex is playing Horizon at the moment and it's a great game, it's a lot of fun watching him 
work his way around it. And Dark Souls is way past some of the enemies as well. Don't think there's anything in any of these. So those are knights. Or statues of them. They look exactly like the knights we've been fighting. Got some souls. And there we have this lovely looking place. Looks like a lot of fun, doesn't it? And yes, there is floor down there. And that is an enemy. Like a mini boss. Oh, better watch out for these. So we will go down and get him at some point. Just got to not get hit by all these axes. See, somebody's throwing stuff at us as well. Oh, there's a wizard one up there trying to throw stuff at us. Cheeky bastard. Right. Let's head this way. And I know there is a hidden doorway in here somewhere. Just got to remember where it is. And he's still trying to chuck spells at us. See here? No. That spell's gonna hurt if it hits us. Ooh. Just made it. Try and roll through his spell. Oh, do I, do I still have any dong pies on me? I wonder if I could just throw a couple at him. If they'll reach. Nah, he's a bit too far away. Well, it kind of worked. I'll take it. Ah! Traps. Now, this is a good chest. Large Titanite shards. <laughs> Be able to upgrade my weapon some more soon. So what have we got here? We've got cages. Another snake man. Who appears to be asleep. Yeah he is, he's asleep. Another snake man. And a boulder. Surprise. Is that one dead? So. Watch out for boulders. That way it is down off the edge. There's another snake man up there. His head down and around. There's another snake man. 
Wow, they can jump far. Hi, Mom. Now, let's go and see everybody's favourite person. Get off. News, I tell you. <laughs> well, talk some more. Mm. <laughs> ah, so you see my sight. <laughs> yes, indeed. I've run up against the wall for a ball to be precise. I'm a bit too tough to be out running those things. No, I'm not saying I to you. Just a mom. But who knows? Perhaps we'll have another development. <laughs> So he's stuck because of the boulders. Hmm. So we need to get past the boulders. There is a snake at the top. So hi, John. Brian is outing you again. Hello. No, that's what you're here for, John. And then this way. Oh, it's another spell one. Stay. <laughs> gotcha. Right, we ne wait for the next boulder and then we shall leg it back up there. up here. Got another chest. Ring of steel protection. We will take that for now. It is a Breener. That is also a Brian. They are rare creatures. No. Not often seen outside of Warcraft. Right. Mm. More snake men. You come to me. He's trying to bite me. Ow. Is that another boulder? No, I am just seeing things. Oh, it is another boulder. Right. Should we follow the boulder's path again? So we're going to wait for one to hit here. And run! Oh. But it didn't kill me. Currently they're going that way and that way.
Oh, that's killed the one on the wall down there. Does one just go off the end? Yeah, it does. Shall send it that way. That just goes whatever's that way. So we'll just send it over the side. So, ah, that's what goes down there. So, you're now just going outside. So we will go this way. That's only like an elevator then. Does not open from this side. Yeah, that's definitely an elevator of some sort. Is it just moving by itself? Yeah, it is. We shall inspect you in a bit. First, we're going to go and have a look what's down here. Because this is where the sleeping snake man was, and now there's a hole in the wall. And he's dead. So we've got cells, cages, and a dude. Hmm. You seem quite insistent. A rare thing in these times. I am Logan. I'm a bit cooped up, as you can see. I have a bright idea. I suppose you sent me mold and empty handed. But I could repay you with And he's a wizard. This place is not in my mind. Yeah, dead snake. I don't have the key, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would have let you out. What about this one? Also locked. So I need a key to get him out. And this goes off into the middle of nowhere. So we need a key. We head back up this way. And we'll go and have a look where that elevator goes to. Or no, in fact. Now there's no more boulders coming this way. Well there shouldn't be. Oh no, there's still boulders coming this way. Oops. Why are there boulders coming this way? Do we not stop them? Eh. Stood too close. Run! Did it moved back? So you're supposed to be going. So that pushes you out that way. Oh, 
wonder if it just resets after a while or something. I am wise to your tricks now. So what's this way? Oh yeah. So. There is more way into the fortress. Right, good. We shall go down here while there are no boulders coming this way. And we shall see what there is. Well, there's an enemy there. wonder if I can drop on him. Will it let me? Yeah, it will. Gotcha. Grab this. I am a little bit lost already. Oh. Black sorcerer stuff. Cool. Ah, that's where this gate opens up. So. Very long sword. I'll have an even bigger sword soon as well. So that doesn't seem to go anywhere. It just sort of falls off, does it? just go down there so this is the lowest point and we have more statues oh that's where the elevator goes and here we have a suspicious blood stain that's why because it's not a nice chest get it. Got it. And we got a lightning spear. So we shall head down again because I saw a ladder here. Let's see where the ladder goes. Ladder goes to nowhere apparently. Weird. Got to be a reason for the ladder. You saying jump down, Manu? Is there anything I can chuck down there? No, I've not got any. All right then. No, there is death. I even did a plunging attack just in case. That's why we don't trust you in Borderlands either.
Manu told me to. She said there was good stuff down there. She's probably been taking lessons from Sherry. It's like Sherry ever comes into this chat and tries me to do tells me to do something I am literally going to do the opposite because then it will probably be the right thing to do anywhere back through the jumping well not really jumping puzzles but Oh, that's how you get down there. So. First we will head this way. Because we have this wizard to get past. Airbus A320 Neo, right. I will make a note of it, Brina. <laughs> so, I will have to try it next stream because I will look up the different plane designs because I know it's possible to do stuff that looks like an airbus I will just have to see if I can tweak it, tweak it to make it look like the Neo like the one that you want how did that last one not hit? <laughs> I could try Right, are the boulders still coming this way, or have they all stopped now? I can also hear running. So they're still. Oh. Forgot about those. But there's still this guy. Brina dropping 10k on what is essentially a paper plane. Just a fancy paper plane. Right. There are still boulders coming this way. So, time to get squished. Where are you going? Two more times. So that leads back there. 
you lead down to the sleeping guy. So we go this way with no boulder coming at us. Oh, there's that guy on there, isn't there? Let's drop attack again. So I don't know where that actually leads. I'll go and get me souls back first, then I'll have a look. That was back up to the elevator thing. Oh look, it's blocked now. I wonder because I know there are nope nope I was gonna say that I know there are hidden walls with traps and stuff like that but not there apparently Unless maybe I send one more boulder that way. Maybe another boulder will break the wall or something. So we'll ride this back up to the turny thingy. Coffee delivery from Kelly. So, we will head back up here and I will send at least one more boulder. Whoop! It's reset. Oh no, it doesn't. I will send at least one more boulder down that way and see if it breaks the wall. So, you can go that way. You go back that way to punting them outside. There. And we shall head to the bottom and see if anything has opened up. Has it? Oh, look. A hole in the wall anything in here. Enemies wise I mean. <gasps> Which one's this one? Boost item discovery. So you wear that when you want armor and other stuff off enemies. So where does this come out then? Is this just a drop to doom? Yeah. Sneaky secrets. Yeah, sometimes she is. So we'll ride this. Is that another sneaky doorway I saw then? Ugh. No, it wasn't. It was a window. And I need to make sure not to go straight to the top. So, this time we go Is it this way? Yeah, it was. 
This time we go out here and see what's this way. This looks like a broken cell or something. First of all, we look for enemies. Because there's bound to be some. Like that guy down there. And we've got. Fancy item. A slumbering dragon crest ring. What do you do? Ooh. Silent movement. Ring was secretly worn by a certain surreptitious sorcerer at Vinheim Dragon School. The ring is engraved with an everlasting dragon in silent slumber and masks all sound emitted from its wearer. <gasps> Hi Kelly. And the name of the of the town is Chlamvaya Pohwing Githkogera Quindrobo Lanticilio Gogogoch. Right. So we're gonna go down one of these now. Do I go down the left one or the right one? He can see us, I'm sure of it. I'm gonna go down this left one. Go, go, go. Oh no, I'm taking falling damage as I go down. I'm going to be dead at the bottom. Yep. Right, we'll drop attack this guy. And then I will die horribly because he'll turn around and hit me. And I'll have done bugger all damage to him. Nope, fall damage killed me. So we need to go there straight away next time. And try not to get hit by boulders in the process. Tell you what. Do I have any humanity? I should do. Twin humanities. We'll take one of those. <laughs> Van Gogh and go go boots. We shall reverse hollowing. I am human again. And we shall kindle the bonfire. And apparently my Xbox Live has died. It's the second time it's done that today. <gasps> yeah, there's somebody up with Xbox Live at the moment. It will sign me back on again shortly. But it means people can't invade me. So we will just go straight back in. Right. And then we will go and kindle the bonfire. Make the bonfire slightly bigger. Uh, that gives us some more healing. On the other hand, NPC invaders are still a thing. So, if Xbox Live doesn't reconnect straight away, I might still get invaded by someone. So, first of all, pressure plate. And then, snake men's, where are you? Dead. 
I really need to up my stamina next time I get her some levels. This one. And then we do some roly polies. Nope. Nope. Did not mean to do that. I wonder. <laughs> it works. Bye, Beth. Have fun. Give me a share if you need anything at work tomorrow. I might not be awake until later on, but I'll reply when I can. Right, back through the swingy things. Close. So now, ignore him. There are no boulders going this way, so we can just go straight up. Just remember to actually lock on before you swing, Aaron. These things have an official name and I can't remember what it is. It tells you on their weapons if you get one of their weapons. Like there is a proper name for them. We need to change the boulder again. Right. 
score. It's two sets. So we just leg it. Another serpent. That's what they're called. Man serpents. That's the name I was trying to remember. So we're going this way because I am sure there's a bonfire around here somewhere. And it'll save us doing loads more running about. I would do Manu, but they don't have any. Or at least I don't think they do. That one so I was. So I will just splat them into the floor instead. I am better at that. So there's another one there. Luckily they are fairly predictable. So we have large titanite shard. Is there a secret room around here? It's got to be one somewhere. I'm going to punch all the walls until I find one. Another one running around, I can hear it. Oh look, yeah, there. But he doesn't know that. I've still got dung pies with me. Uh. Uh. Get poo in the face. There we go. And now we shall watch him slowly die due to poo. The best ending. Look, he's angry because he can't reach us. There we go. And it is finally proven that Poo is the best weapon in Dark Souls. So. There's more of those bits below us, but there wasn't a way into them. Right, what have we got here? We've got a set of two and a set of two. Nope. What about here? No. I'm sure there's got to be one close, because I'm sure this end bit here is an elevator or something. Alright Dave, um, just under an hour and I'm in everybody's favourite place. So this brings us to, this is the top of Sen's Fortress. And I know for a fact there's a bonfire out here somewhere. Um,
Oh yeah. There's that guy as well. Uh, bonfire is here. Thank you. Uh, we shall do a little bit of cleaning. I will go in all the wrong menus first. Uh, uh, get the throwing knives back on. So you can go in the box, you can go in the box, you can go in the box. We will take you out in case of mimics. I think we only picked up the lightning spear, didn't we? Yeah, so I had a uh, long sword. Picked up some rings, but we could just always leave those there. Let's have a look at this wizard set we picked up. So we picked up black sorcerer cloak. That looks alright, but I prefer that. What about the gauntlets? Nah, I think the ones we had on looked fancier. Yeah, we'll leave them on. Put the rest in the box. Keep the sack on the head. There. And now we go back down into Sen's Fortress. Is this way? Oh, this is where the bonfire I was thinking of was. Literally right here. So this drops us there. And we can go back down this way a bit. First of all, we shall take out this wizard. You can fuck right off. And then. We shall do a little bit of parkour. Because I want to get onto this bridge. So this bridge brings us to this bit. So is that wizard where No, is there any further we can go down? Yeah, that's what leads all the way to the bottom, so... We need to change this round, or is it already going the right way? It's already going the right way. out of here and we've got this dropping down bit to do so oh there is actually one over here he's just stuck now I think 
there's no way of getting past this bit without fall damage. So I'm going to go down this side because it means I can drop attack the dude at the bottom. Or at least try to. Yeah, it does a bit of damage. Get in there. I got the bonfire, so I'm doing some more exploring now I've found it. So, this guy. Oh, he's not too bad now. Now I've got a bunch of upgrades. I can even stagger him. Oh, he got me. Oh yeah, that stuff on the floor makes you roll really bad. But, we have this bonfire now, so it's all good. Plenty of space for exploring. Yeah. That one fires way more than I thought it did. And yeah, Kelly did bring me coffee. She was nice. Bye. And you have moved again. Oh no you've not. You've stayed there apparently. Still there. I'm still going to take some fall damage because it's inevitable, but I can at least heal up a bit before I do. So now you go on there. That did way more than it did last time. And dead. But yeah, this is my top seed speed for this place. And that what we just picked up. It's Demon Titanite and a War Scythe. Uh, it's a type of halberd. It's a halberd with a large blade, a scythe adjusted for battle. So it's designed especially for slicing, however, one full swing leaves you wide open. And then we had the demon titanite we picked up, which is this stuff. Special Titanite stolen from a faceless stone beast known as a Titanite Demon. 
when the nameless blacksmith deity passed from several slabs, great beast arose. The power of Titanet remains with them, and they still roam Lordran today. So that thing we just killed is a kind of demon. And there's the wizard we pushed off earlier. Now, if I remember correct, there's a second one of those guys down here somewhere. At the moment, I just hear suspicious sounds. Yeah, there is there's another one over there, isn't there? And there's those bastards throwing lightning at me. And the big guy throwing lightning at me. Right. Thing is, if anything dies, oh no, he's caught me. I'm dead. See, if that thing dies, it's permanently dead. So maybe I need to kill the wizards around it first, or try to. We got at least one of them down. And I think I know where those two wizards are as well. Remember that the trap is there. So I think if we go down a couple more levels towards where we come in. Which does unfortunately mean going through these, but yeah, bugger it. Is it this way I need to go? Yeah, it is. sure these boulders are still going outside, which they are. So, where are we going to go? This is the little thing that Oh, somebody moved the boulders back. Right. So if we continue this way a bit. They missed. Because we got that guy on the bridge down there, but there's ones below it, and I'm sure that's not too far of a drop. get knocked off. Looks like he did. But yeah, you can see those two dudes just down there. So 
So, let's top up. See how big of a fall it is. Not too big. However, there are three of them throwing lightning. like we've just got some more serpents who've fallen down over there look at him just dragging his mate around and then we've got the titanite demon left but first of all make sure there's nothing useful here And then we will go after the Titanite Demon. Um, twice, three times, I think. Come on, come towards me. It's what we want. Oof. Right, that's the Titanite demons taken care of. They won't be coming back. You go back and watch the VOD later. So now I get to explore the rest of this bit. Unless there's a third... Fuck, there is a third one. <gasps> well, great, I suppose we will try and get the third one as well then. I did not realise there were three of them. Or is that even a f oh there's four of them yeah bugger those guys unless I can draw that one out so once I get some damage on them they're not actually too bad but We will get us some extra Estus. <laughs> Need to reverse hollowing. It's at plus five, Brina, which is as high as I can get it at the moment. Some extra healing. We'll see if I, we'll see if I can deal with two of them. Hi, Bart.
Let's see, that's one falling and dying. Change you so they're going outside. I'm sure there must be a trigger point that I'm passing through which changes it back or something. Got him. I don't even know what it is. Is it Luna Poo? Ah. So we've got these three wizards down here again. But I can pretty much ignore them. I've just got to get past them. So. Before I go on, fight two titanite demons by a knobhead. Let's actually see what's this way. Got a ladder. No. So this like ah oh, this is where this item is. Now, is this where the secret door is? I knew there was one here somewhere. Look at ass while we climb. Yefkch. Yefkch. <gasps> A giant. Go and beat him up. Uh. Try and kick me. Okay, kick me. Eighteen naked yef in the yef jat yef ranch. Eighteen naked yef wanting to be yef. He's tired himself out. And now he's dead. Eighteen naked yef. And we got a titanite chunk. That will come in handy. Poor dead giant. 
So I knew there was a shortcut somewhere I was missing, and it's this one. So this takes us here. And this takes us all the way to the bottom. Get off. No. Train incoming. Choo choo. Yef chef 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 choo choo. Yef chef 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 There we go. Hi, Breener. So, we've got one giant taken out. We found this shortcut to the bottom. Is there any way out of here? Where does this go? That goes to the ledge with the wizard thingies on it. This coffee, I have already shown it. So you're the way out. I shouldn't have rolled out there, I should have just gone straight down. It. Off the edge again. Yeah, there's nothing over this way. So back in here after this nut jobs so we got one and then one at the back now are you just going to stay there and chuck stuff or are you actually going to come closer no you're just going to chuck stuff aren't you There we go. And then he immediately hops back. So I have to at least be through the doorway. But, oh, the other one hasn't triggered yet. This one is also tougher than the other two that I've thought. How did that still catch me? And yeah, this one is way tougher than the other two. So I think we will leave him for a bit. But we'll come back to those two later. I'll go and rob my souls back and then... We shall explore the upper part of Sen's Fortress. Grab one of these. Bye. Oh, I didn't fall. So 
down to the bottom we go up. See, I remember having loads of problems with all swinging axes when I played this game years ago. And now they're not too bad. But yeah, it's not a nice place. So, at this point, you're firing that way, which is out the door. If I change you to go that way, so they're definitely going outside now, it's still going to switch back, isn't it? Because there is something, I'm guessing it's probably this doorway, which triggers I'm going the other way again. Well, when I stayed at the top, it didn't change back, which is why I'm guessing... Yeah, it's got to be a trigger in that room. Like, part way through that room, it switches it back for you. There's Mr. Sleepy Snake. Because when I stayed at the top... It wasn't bothered. So the plan is get to the bottom, pick up my souls, and then run away again. Um yeah, to get to the bottom area where those Titanite demons were. I'm only going down there to get me souls now. I've already killed two Titanite demons. Because going right to the top can get you to this bit. So I got to the top, got the bonfire, and then came back to do exploring. So we're going to grab these, and then we're going to run away again. Using this. And now we shall explore the upstairs bit of Sense Fortress. Give me more stamina, please. I'm only a thousand away. Uh, get one of these. So our next step will be to get strength and endurance up to 30. Now we go up this way with Mr. Throwing Explodey Bombs at everything. Hey, look at night.
and a titanite shard. That will come in useful. Uh, this is a nice one. Flame stone plate ring. Which one is that? I think that's just fire resistance. Yeah, boost fire defense by about 50. Stone plates, the symbol of a true knight, grant the strength to face various hardships. The red stone plate symbolizes fire and boosts defense against flame. So, yeah, it's literally just extra fire defense. night and there oh yeah we have to go off there where the big giant is we're just gonna get to him the sound the giants make is always fun so Dude with a crossbow. this the way over to the giant? Nope. It's literally just a little resting area. Do 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 do. I'm going to take out the crossbow guy when I find him and then head back down and go along that walkway because I don't like running about with somebody firing at me so where is he? oh he's going to be along here isn't he? Yep. How did I fail to hit him then? How did I fail to hit him twice? Ugh. So that way is a boss, but we're not going to do the boss yet. We are going to head up here, however. Because there's somebody up here we need to smack. Come on. Fall down tired already. another chunk. Yeah, he doesn't like us very much. So we got one dead giant. There is the boss that's going to get fought soon. And then 
head back down this way. So now we're actually going to head to the lower bit because I want to see what's on that walkway. We've still got that guy over there chucking stuff at us. So run. Oh, there's a big knight over there. Then we shall go after him. Or try to at least. So over here there is a big knight. Is he small enough for a backstab? Too big. Save enough stamina for a roll. Come on, swing again. All you need to do is swing. No, no healing. Only swing. There. And there's a ladder. And I remembered how to slide down ladders. Do it with bow. Oh, this guy's using the fancy rapier. And he's tried to parry us. Sneaky bugger. No parries for you. And we get the fancy rapier. There. These are both good chests. The rare ring of sacrifice and divine blessing. So, divine blessing is the cure everything all the time. Yeah, fully restore HP and undo irregularities. And the rare ring of sacrifice is die, lose nothing, nullify curse, ring breaks. So, if you're in an area that does curse, you wear that. If you die, you won't get cursed, and the ring will break and be destroyed, but you'll also get all your, to keep all your souls when you go to the bonfire. And there is a specific point where that will be useful. So now we've got some jumping puzzles to do. Because there is at least one more giant down there to take out. So we're going this way. And this guy in here even sells the other weapon I've been waiting for. Oh, what? What? Who are you? Ah, not on dead, eh? I took my son's fortress alone, but I'm no different from those vile creatures. I was driven by conceit. Ah, you think you're different? That you can handle it? Yes, I, I remember that feeling. For I was the same. So, let me help you out. With your soul searching. 
There's nothing more to say. I'm finished. We're both on the brink, you see. End of story. You bloody fool. So he's given up. So cream blossoms are very good. I will buy some of those. But first, I will buy the great sword. So, to use this I need 28 strength and 10 dex, which I have. It's an ultra great sword. It's one of the gigantic straight great swords. Very few have what it takes to wield this incredibly damage dealing, incredibly heavy damage dealing monster. Favourite of the Knights of Berenike. Known for their heavy armour and black iron Tarkus. So. We shall purchase the great sword. He also sells arrows. He sells the onion knight set, regular steel armor, and the boulder set. And he sells those two rings. But I'm going to buy some of these blossoms off him because these blossoms are really good. Go along, try and make some, but nothing will come of it unless you. So. This is Vihander, and then new weapon, once I've upgraded it a couple of times, will be this great sword. It has much the same move set, except for it has a stab. But we need to up upgrade it a bit first. For now, Zweihander is much better. Not yet. We have a plan for him though, because there is a guy called Black Iron Tarkus who everybody has to see. Because it's a scripted event for the boss. And it is pretty badass when it, when it works. So, you could die. We will take this, which is the cage key. Are you gonna get a boss fight? Just let me do some exploring first. So, can I survive that drop? I'm gonna say yes. Yeah. Sniper crossbow. Piece of junk. So what we need to do is now is go back to the bonfire because there is something very specific I want to do for this boss fight. Dave knows what it is. humanity yeah we've got 12 so we'll take one humanity and we're going to reverse hollowing we are going to do this bit human Don't need to worry about explosions because that giant is dead. I just need to take out all the guys there. Um, humanity, basically, it makes you human. Uh, 
So in Dark Souls 1 you get uh, a higher chance to find items while you're human. Like the higher humanity you have, the better chance you have of getting items off enemies and stuff. It makes it so people can invade you, but also makes it so you can summon people. Which is what I'm going to do, because there is a very specific summon for this fight. So you see, got humanity, got a shard off him. So now we need to go out this way. Because there isn't much here. But there is this dude. Iron Tarkus. And Iron Tarkus is a beast. Hi Tarkus. So he's wearing super heavy armor, he's got an ultra great sword, and he's got that massive shield. He's called Iron Tarkus, or Aaron Tarkus, if you're from the Netherlands. And we shall go into the boss fight with him. So this is the Iron Golem. Call Tarkus. And now we're just going to go over here. And look how little damage he does to Tarkus. Tarkus is a monster. Oh no, he's knocked him off, hasn't he? Poor Tarkus. actually glitched out. Won't fall over you, fat bastard. So, yeah, it's not actually that hard of a fight as long as you don't fall off the edge. So I tend to just keep him in this area. Three 
stumps. Oh, he's grabbed me. Am I close enough to get thrown? No. But you can actually go through his legs, which is a handy thing. You're alright Dave, the Tarkus thing didn't work so I'm just going to have to beat him up and try not to miss. Oh no, don't throw me off please. There. And he's dead. So the scripted thing I wanted to happen, which didn't because it bugged out, is Tarkus can solo this fight. So you saw him shield bash a couple of times. One of the things that Tarkus can do is he'll circle round to one of these edges. He will face off against the boss and he will parry the boss with that giant ass shield and knock the boss off. Like he basically blocks the boss, boss staggers. He hits the boss a couple of times and knocks the boss off the side. But it didn't work because Tarkus got stuck over here. Anyway, that's our boss dead. Otherwise, like you can fight him at the same time as Tarkus, but it gets a bit more chaotic. That boss is actually easiest if you fight it by yourself. And just go through his legs constantly. And that surely was in time for Brina starting up soon. If he's streaming tonight. Did you manage to get all his OBS sorted stuff with him, Alex? Starting around eight. Oh, we've got a bit yet, bit yet then. <sighs> Rubbish. So now we are in An Orlando, the city of the gods. And as you can see, over there it stretches all the way to the horizon. It's a big place. So we are going to head... Well, first of all we've got this guy to fight. He's fast as well. But he's going to be a three swing kill. So. Dead. Oh, he's not dropped anything. So we've got two more that way. And a chest behind them.
we've got two more straight ahead of us and then we've got whatever that is there but in here we have a bonfire an enkindled bonfire as well from the size of it so let's level up a bit strength 30 done and reinforce the great sword a couple of times I wonder if I can get it straight up to plus five oh, I can so bottomless box get rid of some of the stuff I'm not going to use So now we also have the great sword. And I can use it one handed. So I'm going to need to find a shield to use as well at some point. So 5,000 to level up again. Do we have enough stuff in the box for it? Yeah, Brave Warrior will do. If I remember to go into the right menu. I'm like a th 100 away. So, proud knight. There we go. Strength is at 30. Get our stamina up a bit more. Well, let's talk to this lady. Well, you are a rest. Welcome to the lost city of Anor London, chosen undead. If you seek Lord Gwyn's old keep, exit here and head straight yonder. If you are the chosen one, a revelation shall visit thee. What follows thereafter depends upon you. Hmm, what is it? What am I? Well, I am the keeper of the bonfire. If not for me, what beacon would there be in this lost city? A gatekeeper and a guide. That is my calling. She also has really cool armor. The bonfires attended by the keepers are special. They are linked to one another, and their flames never die. Yet never shall the keepers of these flames meet. So yeah, I said I needed to up my stamina, but I also have these now. Green blossoms are really good. So, get rid of you, get rid of you. Equip the green blossoms. We'll keep the light talismans, put the divine blessing away. Because the green, green blossom you down one of those, they last a decent amount of time and it rapidly increases your stamina regen. There is something I will get to help with that later, but until then it's just going to be green blossoms and being careful. So, chuck a knife at one of these guys. And look how much damage that great sword did. Stab. Dead in two. Now I don't know if the big 
Guts style great sword is in this one. I know it's in later ones, but I can't remember whether it's in the first game or not. If it is, I will try for that. And we will have the biggest, stupidest sword by the end of the game. So, two dead. We have a chest, and this is a good chest. More demon titanite. Oh, the guys at the bottom are Sen's Fortress. I can't get back there at the moment, but I will do when I can. Because at the moment we're stuck in Anor... Yeah. Uh, at the moment we are stuck here in Anor Londo. We can't travel between bonfires yet. Oh, Orgstein and Smao. Yeah, I've got a bit of travel time to get to those two. So we will just do a bit of exploring until Brina is ready. I'm just screwing up all the rolls. Why can I not roll anymore? Am I just being dumb? I am. One stab. Two stab. And we have giant armored dude number two. And that is shield. I rolled into that one that time. Because I am smart. And now we have two chests. We have a good chest. And you have twinkling titanite. And then we have a suspicious looking chest. And if you look carefully, you can see it breathing. Come on, do it again. There you go. Sneaky. So I will show you how to open it with one of these. Ta da! If you look carefully as well, its teeth are actually fingers. Now, and it's dead. Disgusting. But yeah, that trick with the Lloyd's Talisman, there is one like that in every game. <laughs> Do you not know about that, Alex? So, a talisman utilised by All Father Lloyd's cleric knights to hunt down the undead blocks Estus' recovery within a limited area. In the outside world, the undead are accursed creatures, and Lloyd's cleric knights are widely praised for their undead hunts. This blessed talisman blocks undead recovery, allowing the knights to fight with impunity. So, there is an item like that in every game. 
Not always called Lloyd's Talisman, they're sometimes called something different. Disgusting. <laughs> but if you ever think it's a mimic, or if you know it's a mimic and you just want the loot, you can just chuck one of those at it and it puts it to sleep. So yeah, there's one in every game. That caught his shield. I think we can go this way yet. Yeah. I think this is another bit that's blocked off. Yeah, it is. Big golden glow. But yeah, the advantage of using those talismans as well. Like, you can just hit the chests to check them. But, if you're using a big heavy weapon like this, or if your damage is high enough, you can break the chest, and then you get nothing out of it. If you break the chest, you just get nothing. And now we have the elevator. Uh, with my old sword, the big armoured guys would be three or four. Uh, that guy took three that I thought then because I clipped his shield. But the rest of the time they've just taken two stabs. Hi, Brina. And look, it's one of our old friends, the Gargoyles. There we go, four stabs to kill a gargoyle. And we can't go any further this way because the bridge ends. But that looks like a bonfire down there. So we will go this way. This little bit under here. Are there any items around here? Nope, but there is a chest. And the chest has more demon titanites. Is there anything up here? No, looks like there isn't. So now we will go to the bit where I am likely to die the most today.
like this part for me when I first played the game was worse than Sans Fortress. So we get a broken window and some rafters. One stab. Let's do it. Right, he's running towards, or maybe not. No. So yeah, if there's anywhere I'm going to die to a lot today, it's going to be there. Not that we've got much longer to go, but... Do I have my shield with me? I might equip the shield just for this bit. Oh, I don't even have my shield with me. Bugger it. Surprise! And he gave me two throwing knives, how nice. So. Oops, I dropped the chandelier down. My knives do almost nothing. It'll do like a couple of damage at most. Um, so going to the right stopped him. I know what I'll do while I'm here. Which one do we want? Uh, Night Shield. You've got the highest physical defense. Here 
we still have the stab. And the parry, which I'm not going to use because I am terrible at parrying in Dark Souls 1. So yeah, Beth. I'm going to get me shield this time. For his petty little thrive knives. And for when he decides to spam attacks close to me. And then I can just stab. Or slash. My roll is still alright as well. I caught his shield a couple of times then. So, this time, now I have a shield. Foxy going. <laughs> Oh well, that solves that problem. Now I've got two left. No! We both hit each other at the same time, so we both staggered. Gives me anxiety as well. <laughs> So their swings are like a thousand times faster than mine. So I need to wait for them to back off before I try and stab or anything.
Bye. That made that one a bit easier. One left. And we made it. <laughs> Give me loots. There is loots down here somewhere. Maybe not. Was he just an ambush guy? Is that all he's there for? Looks like it. Ah oh well. We shall continue in this direction. So we got a lever to pull. Does nothing. So over there we've got another gargoyle who is already coming after us. Wonder if I can make him fall off. Apparently not. What if I try and get level with him? Now he's here. That is completely unfair. Right. Can you stop? Doing that and let me hit you. This is such a crappy fight. And these ones breathe lightning, not fire. There. 
and we got all three shield helm and albert So what's down the stairs now? Is where they all fell down. So this is the bottom of the big church. But we're not going to go in there yet. We have other things to do. Um, I was going to play until whenever you are ready, Brina. You're starting around right now, aren't you? So, this goes down another level. So, the upper bit now leads to here. And the lower bit now leads somewhere different. So if we go straight ahead here, see a statue of Quinn. It's got a crown and everything. And we have a bonfire. And a ring. So this is the ring of the sun's firstborn. Which I'm sure is to do with miracles and stuff. Yeah, boost miracles. Lord Gwyn's firstborn who inherited the sunlight once wore this ancient ring boosts the strength of miracles. Lord Gwyn's firstborn was a god of war, but his foolishness led to the loss of the annals and rescinding of his deific status. Today even his name is not known. So he straight up erased his own kid from history. He's a nice guy, is Gwyn. More stamina. You might have missed this one, Alex. Goggle shield. Goggle halberd. And Gargoyle Helm got two now. Like, this is a pretty easy bonfire to miss. See if we can't get another level, we should have enough here. Good enough. Oh, we're just under. Um, let's go and kill a couple of dudes and level up. Brina should be sorted round about then. I 
and then next time we can go after Little and Large and all their friends along the way. So this is a DLC area. It is full of these guys. And a very big painting in the background. I see you over there. A bit closer. I can't go in this area yet because I've not been back to asylum yet, but <laughs> two handed chad. So we will clean these guys out and then we should have enough to level up and Brina should be ready by then as well. Come here you. And something drops off that chandelier as well but I can't remember what it is. Yeah, I do like big smashy weapons, like Bloodborne I used the Kirk Hammer for most of it. Um, like Monster Hunter Wild, my main weapons are the Greatsword and the like the Hammer and the music making one. Oh, it's just magic. Magic I will not be using. And uh, we have Tarkus's stuff. Including a free greatsword and his shield. I forgot that we got a free greatsword here. And we have a big suspicious looking painting. Quite a nice looking painting as well. But massive. So we will head back to the bonfire. And we shall... Uh, Finish the stream there, I think. We've gone all the way through Sen's Fortress. We've been through the start of Anor Londor. We made it across the rafters and we made it to our bonfire, which is what I really wanted to do. I just didn't want to have to deal with the rafters too often. <laughs> I would burn it if I could, Manu, but I can't even get to it yet. So let's have a look at Tarkus's shield. The 
don't even have enough strength to use it properly. Cool. I need 34 strength to use Tarkas's shield. So, take you off. Try fat rolling then. No, I wish because I was in the process of taking it off. Level up stamina a tiny bit more. So, we shall be finishing there for today. We made it as far as I want to. Or we made it further than I expected to, to be honest. I expected to be stuck in Sen's Keep for a while, but we are good. At some point, when I can, I will go back there and take out the other two Titanite demons. But for now, we shall be raiding over to Brina, who I believe is he playing Warcraft again? I thought Brina was playing a spooky game. Or maybe he's just forgot to change his stream title. I'll do it for him in a bit. So we shall raid on over to Brina. Always oh, playing out last. That'll be fun. And I will see you all next Tuesday. I'm sure I can do Tuesday next week. I will double check. I don't think I'm working late then. Oh no, it is Tuesday I'm working late. Uh, it might get shifted around then, but I will find I will work out a day next week and post it in Discord to do some more Subnautica. But for now we shall raid on over to Brina doing spooky games. And I will see you all again next week. Thank you for watching everybody. And be nice to Brina. I will do Alex, but I think we're both going to be shift slotted to shift that day. So we can't really swap it either. But be nice to Brina. He gets scared easily and is a bit old so his heart's giving out a bit. And he's playing spooky games. So I will see you all soon. Bye bye.